Smart specialization is a tool that regions in Europe use to come to terms with the challenges and changes they're facing. Some, like the region of Ostrobotnia in Finland, have a unique take that draws interested visitors from as far away as South America. It's a relationship between uh, uh, Chile and, and Ostrobotnia, uh, in, in, especially in, in topics of uh, innovation. And this uh, aspect in, uh, for us is very useful. Especially the integration between the public sector, the academy, the private sector and the community in general. All uh, working together for, uh, for some special goals. At the heart of the successful innovation systems in place in Ostrobotnia lie the principles of smart specialization. This set of principles is the focus of discussions and development work all around Europe and is seen as a unique opportunity for regions to innovate and grow. Smart specialization strategies is one of the most important tools that we have right now for regional growth. What we're aiming for is growth through innovation. And in some cases, in most cases, the regional authorities and the public authorities have to take an active role in promoting this. Through dedicated work, smart specialization has been implemented on a European level and has been fully embraced by key players in the west of Finland to great effect. Now uh, there is a new phase where transnational learning comes much closer to the innovation process within each region. And in this respect, Ostrobotnia has had a very forward uh, leading role because we started very early with an SC conference in Vasa and we have followed up that through uh, the Ostrobotnian Council with uh, gap analysis and uh, connected to transnational learning between Finland, Norway and now also in the Baltic Sea. The constant challenge in the region of Ostrobotnia while working with smart specialization is to keep the national focus and support trained on the importance of regional innovation processes. If you look on the Ostrobotnian innovation system, you have actors being employed by central government, you have actors that are regional actors, and you have actors also that are municipal actors. And then you have all the helixes represented. You have people from universities, people from companies, and people from, from, from the public sector, and, and even from the general public, NGOs. Now, they have different perspectives. They are all relevant perspectives, but you have to, to bring them together. In this way, the, the Ostrobotnia model is working because it provides the, the lenses or the spectacles that, that this is the, the, the way that we look at the innovation, how the innovation takes place. And that po provides a point of reference for the actors that, that they may agree or they may not agree, but at least we know what we're discussing about. We studied or we heard uh, about the Ostrobotnia government talk to us about the um, the model, the theoretic model, but also we can we can saw with our eyes the experience in the companies, the experience in with the government, uh, with the experience with the university. It's incredible all the work you are doing in the in between three actors. To find out more about Ostrobotnia's take on smart specialization, please follow this link.